All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, glory, and honor that's due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachahodash, Ebo Honor, Shere Elders, and Apostles, that most on for wealth, peace, and blessing to the 144,000 and the hopeful elect. Shalom, rock a thumb. And it's your brother, you're rocking. back at you, man, with another video in transit, man. It's going to be real brief. Uh, it's a quick rebuke on the holiday of Juneteenth, uh, which is yet another. Uh, you know, really, all all of these uh, holy days or, or holidays they call them, they're just all made up, and there really is no significance in any of them. All right, they're either a recycled version of what the Romans had, all right, or it's just some new made up bullshit from an event that was basically vain. All right, and even the ones that had some kind of significance from the from the Roman Empire, all right. They, they've all just become uh, reasons for mirth and where people are in the spirit of mirth you got vultures that come in that make money off of it all right that's why the number one high holy day in america which is christmas all right that's why they make the most money off of it because it's the biggest holiday they always encourage you to spend the idea of gift giving all right they don't really care about the spirit of giving. They don't care about the spirit of charity. They care about making money off of you and, and, continue, uh, and continue to have you open up credit cards and do all of this other nonsense, all right? But when you look deeper at the at the holidays or the holy days that celebrate so-called black people, all right? You have Martin Luther King Day, you have Black History Month, all right? And then you have uh, uh, Juneteenth now, all right? All of, all of these really are just a, are just throwaway consolation prizes because they never gave you reparations, all right? They're not going to do anything about gang violence in your neighborhoods, all right? They're they're not they're not gonna uh, they're not gonna stop pushing propaganda on your women, okay? So basically, it's just a big old you know uh, uh, virtue signal, all right? And every year, y'all go out there when it's hot as hell, you party and throw barbecues, and, and then y'all end up shooting and killing each other in these in these uh, rundown neighborhoods, man, all across America. All right. And when we tell you, like, listen, man, stop. You're an Israelite. All right. You're 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 better than this. Okay. You're you're not to uh, you're not to be celebrated. You know, projects and neighborhood named after your named after your oppressor. That you have a heritage, all right, and the, and that heritage comes with high holy days, man. Passover, okay, Hanukkah, all right, the feast of first fruits, Purim, etc., man. All right, they scoff at that and go, hey, you know, we ain't trying to hear that, man. But. If they were if they were in the right spirit they would they would heed these things all right and see that all of the holidays that you that you celebrate here in america you basically have a version of it in the holy scriptures but it's in righteousness man and not everyone is going to be about murder all right but when jake hears that he doesn't want to hear it but go ahead go, go attach yourself with, with juneteenth all right which they they uh they associated with they now associated with Pride Month now, and, and see what the Lord's gonna do when He gets back, man. All right, all you Juneteenth Israelites that are uh, in this spirit of, of, of Black Pride, Black Power, all right, which is which is an oxymoron. All right, if you're Black, you're void of light, you're void of everything. Okay. All right, there is, there is no power in Blackness. All right. Y'all keep drinking the same damn Kool-Aid, getting sick every damn time, man. You know? That's why the scriptures say, I will, I despise your feast days, all right? Because even though we had the high holy days back in the ancient world, y'all made, y'all y'all had that same spirit just just put on to the uh, high holy days of the, uh, of the ancient Israelites, man. All right? Y'all did the same thing. Y'all just didn't call it Juneteenth, but y'all were in the same spirit, man mirth and partying and bullshitting all the damn time and there's a time and place for all of that man you know but but you decided to partake in the image 
okay they they made your holidays part of the image so think about that even when it's it's uh according to uh even when it's to celebrate you just remember that celebrating yourselves is now celebrating part of the image all right and this is why the scriptures say come out of her my people okay that you be not partake of the word plagues because they're gonna do things to incentivize you to be attached to it. Man. That's why they give you welfare, okay? That's why they, they, they placate you and play to your emotions, you know, by, the, by how you hire you as DEI or diversity hires, affirmative action and all of these things, all right? That's why you have jakes that can become a few, very few amount of jakes can just become millionaires because those are little sprinkles of hope that hey, a few niggas can make it, but, but, when you look at it by and large you can't make it man you know the vast majority of so-called negroes latinos and native americans they're not going to make they're not going to make any headway here because this you're in captivity all right and he's done a really good job of convincing you that you're not in captivity and one of those tools are these high holy days man because you get to party and bullshit go to the beach or whatever y'all do all right you think that you're not oppressed all right but, they, but you don't know what they've stolen from you, man. And, and to be honest, y'all do know you just don't care. Okay? Y'all know what he did back back in uh, back in the days of uh, slavery, man. Alright? So there really, there really is no excuse. You know, but y'all gonna go out there and party and bullshit anyway. That's okay, because the most high, he's got a plan. Alright? And that, that plan involves you, man. You know? That plan is basically going to be judgment. All right, and when people see the judgment of the Lord, how it hits America, the whole earth is going to fear, man. The whole earth is going to get in line. You know, and that, that's how the Most High wants it, man. So you, you got to come out of this this mindset that it's just a holiday. I'm just having fun. No, these things are deeper than uh than just going out and having fun. You can do that any day of the week, man. All right. But you choose to turn up heavy on these days. Why? Because there's there's a uh, there's a fear of, of, of uh, missing out. All right. You're you're giving your energy over to, to demonic spirits, man. All right. You got to ask yourself the origin of things. You know. But I'll, I'll end it there, man. That's that's really all I wanted to say. It's just very vexing, you know, and, and angry every year. You you got you know. Uh, so-called Negroes in this spirit of wanting to uh, participate in things that are menial, man. Like, y'all don't see how, how, how this is all, all vanity and nonsense, you know? You know, like that, like that meme says, stop it. That Michael Jordan meme, stop it and get some help, man, you know? But that's okay, like I said, the solution is on the way, man, anyway. Global is edifying, Shalom.